Hey guys, thought I'd show you a product I'm working on here. Um, what do you see are a couple of Dell R410 servers. And uh, I'm actually going to be installing VMware on there. Uh, version 6, it's the Dell customized version of it. Uh, it has special drivers on it built into the uh, VMware. Specially designed for Dell servers. And uh, so I'm actually, these are going to be going into a CenturyLink Colo or a big data center. And uh, I'll show you that when I get to that point. But um, so on this VMware, I'm probably going to be running like uh, two different virtual machines. Uh, one is going to be a DNS server and the other is going to be a domain controller. Uh, so they don't need to be very powerful. Even though these are actually, pre well, let me open this up. But these are pretty powerful servers. These are, uh, you know, 32 gig of RAM and um, dual quad core Xeon. So I can probably run four virtual machines on there if I want to. Um, and it should actually have two, ter two, two terabyte hard drives. So let me open this up and I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like inside. So pretty cool little project. So. Yes, for a customer. Alright, got the case cover off here. And those are, these are the two terabyte drives. They're not hot swap, it looks like. Um, and I don't see a backplane here, so that kind of sucks. But I think it probably does have the option for a backplane and hot swap. But looks like I have... Um, sorry, my workbench here is a mess. I'm working on too many products. Um, you, know, you know it's actually a pretty decent server when you have... The option for dual power supplies, so I have those over there. I gotta put them in. And this is the uh, RAID controller. And I don't know what this is yet. This I don't think this is a. Uh, oh, looks like I came off there. This doesn't look like a. Uh, I'll figure that out. But that doesn't look like a Perk Six. I mean, it looks very similar to a Perk Six, but I'm not sure. I'll find out when I've booted up what exactly it is. And let's take a look at this real quick. I won't take it all the way off, but that's the, uh, I'm assuming the processors and the RAM there. So, all right, so, the power supply is put in this thing. I'm going to put it in our RAID 1 configuration. Two, 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 two terabyte hard drives. Um, this is the actual RAID uh, right cache battery, or right back cache battery, not right through. Um, cool, looks like a pretty cool server. Not bad. Hopefully it's not too loud. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. It's going into a big data center. It's so I always like to figure out if a server is good enough to be put in a, like a small office because, man, you never know. Sometimes these rack mount servers are kind of loud. So, all right, all right here. Let's get these power supplies in there. Let me this goes. Yeah. Let's see. Here we go. And so these are actually used servers. Um, it's crazy how cheap you can get these things now. Um, yeah, I wanted some one-use servers. Uh, there's already a bunch of Dell R710s in the rack. And, uh, this is going to be, these two servers are going to be replacing five servers. So that's going to save the uh, customer a lot of money and power every month. Just because the servers, I mean, they're all running dedicated versions of Windows and, you know, they're domain controllers. So they don't require, like, a lot of energy or power, you know. They're, it's just a domain controller just for a bunch of servers. It's not a domain controller for like an office. So the only thing logging into the domain controllers are the servers so we're talking like like they're never being used so so yeah i'm hoping to get rid of five servers with these uh two servers here old like hp servers which suck down a crazy amount of uh power there so all right so let's um, put the case cover back on fire this up and make sure that i have um this thing set up in raid one and i'll uh, load the uh, vmware put that in there there we go all right we got all right, just fire this up for the first time. Hopefully I'll get some video. I can't remember. I have a couple screens up here for testing. So. This is definitely not as good as some of the other ones. Like the ones with the LCDs on them. So, you know, if this is a Dell server, they usually take a while to fire up. If it's working okay. Let's see. One of these screens will come on. I don't know if I check it too. Let's see. Okay, that sounds better. Fans went down. And... Alright, getting some configuring memory. Probably can't see that because of the sun glare. And doing a fan controller test. The BCM test. 
yeah, it's probably odd when people, <laughs> they see my channel and I make so many different car videos, but like I always say, I'm an IT guy. I've been doing that for 20 years. Yeah, this, this is actually the kind of stuff that I do all day long. I do voice and data cabling, program routers, switches, firewalls, you know, build servers, exchange servers, Linux-based phone systems. A lot of stuff based on Linux. So, there we go. Let's see. Uh, Alright, there we go. Dell. Alright, so, I, well, I'll let it, no, I'll skip that. So what I need to do is go into the RAID controller. Memory test exterminated. Or, it should be control R. Or, let's see. I need to go into the RAID controller and do uh, control R. Okay. Let's see here. This sucks. I'm not, because I'm in DOS, I can't obviously run a Windows uh Okay. Alt next. Okay, so let me get just back to the RAID controller and I'll, I'll show you the, uh, I can't do this when I hold my camera at the same time, so. Alright, back here at the RAID 1 configuration. I'm going to put it in the RAID 1. Two space bars. I'm going to make this, uh, call this boot drive. And pretty much the default should work okay. This, I'm going to um, have two operations because I want to initialize this thing. Do a fast init. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh. That hit too many buttons going too fast here. Okay, so let's go. Uh, raid one, boot, escape, escape. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here and oh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm doing, I can't do a control of delete at the same time with the phone. I clean my desk up here on my workbench here. Um, all right, I'll be back. So I'll be back with the next uh. Boot screen, I'm going to hit the F12 boot menu, or F10 on this, on Dell servers. And I'm going to just select the, uh, the USB drive, the boot drive. I have uh, version 6 on there of ESXi. I mean, somewhere, they, I don't know if you guys have ever messed with VMware, but dude, they, they, it's some tricky names, man. Hypervisor this, and freaking all these different crazy wacko names. So, alright, let's see here. So I'm going to come back up here. Okay, it should be F, uh, F boot, F11, no, actually, F11. this one, it's F11. Sometimes it's either F10 or F12, depending on what kind of motherboard you're running. Okay, I should see one hard drive here. I don't know if you guys can see that. The one, the RAID 1 drive I just created. It's firing the drives up for now, it's probably going to be firing those. I'll test them right now. Can't really see them, it's not really hot swap, so I know I'm kind of talking fast. So I'll have to go back and hit, I'll have to configure the drag card with uh, some remote. Um, okay, there we go. So I chose hard drive, and I chose the front USB flash drive. Hit return, ESXi boot, boom. So that is loading that right there from the USB drive. Alright, so I'm going to go through the load process. I'm not going to show you all this, but um, yeah, that's how quickly you can get ESI on one of these Dell R410 servers. Dell R410 servers. So, Alright, I'll be back when this is finished installing and uh, I'm just going to go through the installation steps. You know, yes, no, and put a password on there and I will show you, uh, I'll rack it up. You'll see uh, the massive Colo Data Center, CenturyLink. Awesome. Alright guys, forgot to uh, enable the uh, virtualization setting in the CPU. So if you're going to be installing any sort of like Hyper-V or VMware, then you should enable this setting. Alright, we'll get to the BIOS here. Yeah, I mean this is actually fairly... I mean one use servers are usually a little bit louder. And say like a 2U server or 4U server because um, they have the smaller fans that have to spin faster to keep up with the uh, to keep it cooler. So you know the fans are bigger; they don't have to spin as fast. All right, so back here, uh, let's see where we're at. Processor settings and 64-bit virtualization technology. Oh. Enable. It is a Xeon 2.26 gigahertz processor 
Alright, everyone looks fine. Alright, escape, save changes, exit. Your basic Dell BIOS. So, cool, cool, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, cool. Okay, guys, back here, and as you can see, this thing is actually installed. And we have, um, it's a uh, two processors, two Xeon quad core, and 32 gig of RAM. And I need to go back and give this thing some static public IP addresses for the uh, VMware. And I'm also going to program the drag card with a public IP address. So, um, because like I said this thing is actually not going to be in a place where I go to very often, so uh, I need to have good remote access to it. So if this thing fails for some reason, I need to be able to get into the drag card. And well, let's say if uh, VMware hangs for some reason, or it locks up, because I actually have had VMware lock up before. I need to be able to get into this drag card and do like a remote reboot, you know, cold boot. Um, all right, that's the first part, phase of this project. I'm going to be copying over a um, Windows 2016 ISO, and I'm going to create a domain controller and add it to an existing domain and add a couple DNS servers for the uh, web servers. So, all right, cool. Be back. It's kind of a fun little project here. Guys, yeah, back here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So those two VMware servers I was working on. I'm going this rack right here. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this place, but it's, it's massive. As far as you can see, wall to wall servers. So it's crazy. All right, so. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna replace, the goal is to replace all these servers right here, these old HPs, and uh, and get them all down on that VMware. So I'm gonna be, hopefully be taking out five servers, and uh, so two servers are gonna take the place of five. So, um, oh yeah, by the way, so when you go to my website, uh, these are my actually servers down here. And uh, this is basically, I have two firewalls. I have a uh, Cisco ASA 5510, and then I have a uh, Sophos UTM on a uh, Dell R210 server, and it's running, a, it's like my, uh, it perfects my uh, Linux server from getting uh, scripting attacks. It's a pretty cool firewall, check, 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 check it out. It's called Sophos UTM. But, um, yeah, this is running VMware. I'm running a bunch of different stuff in here. Exchange, domain controllers, a couple different things in there, but test systems. So yeah, I'm gonna get that, uh, get it going. I'll show you what's up. Okay, guys, there it is. So if you guys need uh, help troubleshooting or installing Windows or Linux-based servers, you can call the numbers below.